Salk researchers have found brain activity that may lead to explanations about memory and the organization of the brain. All right, here with more on this sleep study is Dr. Terry Sanowski. Good morning. Nice to have you here. Good morning. Great to be here. So you are a computational neurobiologist. That's right. And so uh, that's a fancy term for what? Uh, well, I try to understand what goes on in your brain when you're thinking, okay. when you're remembering something, and when you go to sleep. And I try to build computational models, computer models, that help us explain and understand how you learn things and how you remember things. This is one of the most fascinating of science, I think, of the body that there is, because so much is unknown about the brain. But you discovered something called the Princess Leia wave. What is that? Well, uh, the, first of all, the brain is the most complex device in the known universe. And there are mysteries that we still don't understand, like consciousness. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, sleep is as much of a mystery as consciousness. What happens when you fall asleep? <laughs> right. Well, we now have some insight, and this is something that was totally unexpected. So uh, during the night, you go through periods where there are these waves of activity that circulate throughout your cerebral cortex, the top of the brain. But they're very well organized in circular patterns like this. Mm -hmm. That's why we call them Princess Leia waves. Okay, so they look like the hairstyle yes, of Princess the Leia. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> what we think is going on is that this is a period during which your new experiences that you've had during the day get organized and uh, embedded into your permanent knowledge store. And it has to happen over and over again in order for that to happen. So as it's organizing, is it sort of like a defrag of a computer that uh, says this, this, these waves go here, these waves go there, these memories go in this bank, these memories go in that bank? It's, is it that complex? It's, that it's way? actually a very good analogy, and I'll tell you why. And the reason is that different parts of your knowledge are stored in different parts of your cortex, hmm. your visual part and your auditory part and your somatosensory part. How do you stitch that together if you have a new experience with a new person? You know, with all of those things have to be linked together, and, and, and they have to be done efficiently without interfering with existing knowledge and so that's what we think memory consolidation is going on during the, the, this period of sleep. So what does that tell you? Well, it tells us, first of all, uh, uh, it may help give us insight into people who have trouble with memory. Mm. People with PTSD, for example, right. uh, they have problems because they can't eliminate memories, right? So if we can understand what makes memories, uh, we might be able to uh, enhance people's uh, learning. And we might also be able to reduce uh, people memories of things that are not uh, wanted. So PTSD or something like Alzheimer's? Uh, Alzheimer's is a really tough problem because there you lose memory over a long period. It's a devastating illness and uh, we, we are just beginning to understand what uh, leads to Alzheimer's but without more research uh, on basic science we're not going to be able to help people who have Alzheimer's. Right now we, there's no good drugs, there's no way to stop it, it it's, and it, as we get older unfortunately uh, the likelihood of having Alzheimer's increases to the point where, you know, if you live to 80, uh, the chances are that uh, very high, 50%. So let's talk a little bit more about this study. That you, how long was it? A couple of years that you studied that this specific Yeah, this, this is a uh, project that's been going on for two years in my lab. And, 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 and how did you do that? Did you attach probes to the br How do you do that? Well, how this do you is, measure? this is work that was done uh, uh, recordings in humans with uh, epilepsy who are going uh, to be uh, be implanted with electrodes directly on the cortex wow. uh, in order to find out where the focus of the seizure is and, and this is to help people with intractable epilepsy mm -hmm. not responding to drugs right. but they, they, we, we, they wait for a week uh, so to find out where the seizures are but we can record all night for a week and we can have access to what their brain is doing during the day and what happens during night and we discover this completely While unexpectedly. While you're plotting this stuff, right? Absolutely and, wow. and, and this is, this is uh, we're making discoveries. This is the U.S. Brain Initiative we're making these discoveries at a remarkable rate that I could have never ever predicted, even just over the last two or three years. Well, we're going to put more information about this uh, this study uh, on KUSI.com. Dr. Terrence uh, Sunowski, thanks so much for being with us. Well, it's great. We wish to be you here. the best success, and uh, thank you very and much. We can't wait to hear more about this study. Wonderful.